Streaming giant Tyler Ninja Blevins has recently had some strong words for Ethan Klein host of the H3H3 podcast, after he was recently banned on Twitter by Elon Musk. This is what he had to say. But it, like people like trying to get banned and when they get banned, they're oh dude, I don't know. I thought it was free speech. It's like you're sitting here impersonating the owner of the account of of, of the company. Making Jeffrey Epstein shit or what you know what I mean? Like it, like it's, and it's not funny. Like ah uh, Oh, I thought, I thought comedy was, I, I thought comedy was alive and well. It's like, you're not, <laughs> it's not parody. That's. Since Elon Musk purchased the social media network for $44 billion, Twitter has been a seething beehive of controversy. Since becoming Twitter's CEO, the eccentric, controversial billionaire has made a number of contentious moves, prompting others to begin imitating him by changing their Twitter username to Elon Musk and then posting outlandish things. Ethan Klein, commonly known as H3H3, a contentious YouTuber who is not hesitant to share his viewpoint on podcasts and social media, was one of the more outspoken critics of Musk. Klein, like many others, opted to alter his identity and photo to Elon Musk and begin tweeting nasty things to put Musk's free speech policy to the test. In another of his tweets, he referred to Jeffrey Epstein as a old buddy and praised Tesla for having just six unintentional deaths. H3H3's Twitter account was suspended as a result of the impersonation. The streaming community's reaction has been varied. Some praised H3H3 for putting his social media presence at risk to speak out against Musk, while others pointed out that mimicry is not comedy and that he should have followed the rules. Klein's suspension is only one example of the chasm that exists on Twitter in response to Musk's new regulations. Many people back Musk and his revisions, denouncing anybody who doubts the $8 check mark or impersonation regulations. Others, though, claim they are seeking for Twitter alternatives in the hopes of leaving the network behind when it dies.